Hey everybody, it's Jason Font with Power Rangers Time Force and you're watching 96 Studios. All right, so we are here with Jason Font, uh, Time Force Red Ranger. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing fantastic, guys. How are you? Doing great. I'm doing yeah. great. We got to see you for the last few hours, interact with your fans. You're doing a lot of good stuff out there. Yeah, you know, it's uh, th th this, this whole comic book store Power Ranger protection program that Jason David Frank put together. It's been awesome because we get to actually interact with the fans, talk to the fans, take time with the fans. Okay. So we've enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun. And, you, and you're close with Jason David Frank. We actually got to see him a couple weeks ago ourselves. Yeah, we, we text probably every day. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so we're, we're pretty close. So you did the whole Time Force. It's a 20-year anniversary right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, how, like 20 years being a hero for the kids and doing all that. How do you feel about that? You know what? It's amazing. And it's funny because when we filmed the show, we were filming every day. And you just were working 12, 10, 12 hour days. You'd have just enough time to go to the gym, yeah. um, you know, work out, get food, study your lines, and then you were back the next morning. So we didn't really get a chance to understand what we were doing until the show ended. Okay. So now the Comic Cons, the comic book store signings, this is where we enjoy it because we hear fans' stories, how we impacted their life. Okay, so yeah. So it's been an amazing journey, and I can't believe it's still going. What What really made you want to become a Power Ranger? Like, what really was like, oh, I want to go try out for this? Well, as an actor in L.A., you audition for everything. Mm -hmm. You know, you try and get parts. So my journey went this way. I was doing soap operas. I was on a soap opera called Port Charles and Passions. Uh, I did brief stints on those. And then Power Rangers were just an audition that went well. So this was one of many auditions you go on, and I read for it for the um, Lost Galaxy season. Lost Galaxy season? Yeah, didn't get it. Read for it with um, Light, Lightspeed Rescue, didn't get it, and then the third time I read for Time Force and ended up working out. So it just was an audition that went well. I find that when I look at the, the episodes and stuff like that, Time Force is really well written. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm always going to love the Mighty Morphin, but Time Force is really well written. I thought your dynamic with your father and that, that, that series was something that was other. It was always a romantic thing, but it's yeah. always that father. You had to prove yourself in those. Did, did you ever feel like that was like a big part of your character, Wes? Well, it was a huge part because I think, you know, you know when we were filming it, this is getting a little more technical, but we were filming three episodes at a time. Okay. So we might be in episode three at the end one day, and the next day we're filming the beginning of two. So everything was filmed so out of sequence, you almost didn't really put the whole story together like a puzzle, mm. right? Um, once it's done, and when I watch the show now, I realize that a lot of the stuff that we discussed were really interesting topics, mm -hmm. this being one of them. I mean, we've, we've heard of a million stories of someone who's who maybe they fell short of their family's expectations and stuff like that. So at the time, I didn't realize it, but it's an amazing arc that he got to choose his own destiny, and that was the big message in there. And then, yeah, that's why I took away from it. Also, you have a good dynamic where the reveal of the Red Ranger, you had that broken helmet. Yes. That was something that's not been done ever since uh, the red, right here. So in this, the helmet breaks. Everyone sees it's his character, Wes, in there, and your father sees it, your friend sees it, that yep. comes the Quantum Rangers, Aaron, in the, in the show series. Yep. Um, but you're having dialogue through it. It's, you're, seeing, you're literally seeing through your eyes of the character. Mm -hmm. So you've been seeing through that eyes of that character for 20 years. Though. Yeah. That's, 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 a, oh, that's a good feat there. Yeah. And nobody would have thought. I mean, when this happened, it, you know, you did the show, the show ended, you moved on to try and get other jobs. Mm -hmm. And the Comic-Con started and they said, well, we want you to come back. I was like, why would anyone want to meet me? Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? It, you know, I, I, didn't, I always laughed. Like, I didn't want to be the guy in college coming back to the high school prom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're like, no, no, you understand. Like, Time Force, specifically your characters, become very popular in this, this, you know, in this franchise. I'm like, so I came back to Power Morphicon and there were all these fans there. And then and that's when it clicked. Like, oh, my God, this was something special. Had no idea until about 10 years after. You guys are working on a movie with Jason David Frank, White Dragon. Mm -hmm. So can you tell me about that? So uh, Jason David Frank partnered with Bat in the Sun. They had done those superpower beatdowns. I've seen it. Bat in the Sun cr created a massive fan base of, I think, 5 million followers on YouTube now. They wanted to create a more mature, more adult. <laughs> they wanted to grow with our Power Ranger fandom. Mm -hmm. So they decided to partner. They did Legend of the White Dragon. It's not Power Rangers. It's a whole new universe. But there will be a lot of winks and nods in there, of course. Um, that's always good. Yeah, so we're, we're trying to create a whole new universe that's a more mature, darker, grittier feel. Um, there's going to be some really cool guest stars that we haven't named yet that are on, in the movie. 
there's going to be some cameos that people who may or may not have been Power Rangers in the past. So there's a lot of cool things coming up, and uh, we're really excited to, to, to embark on this journey. So is your character a good guy or a bad guy, though? He's a good guy. I can say that. <laughs> yeah, <awesome. laughs> I'm thinking, what can I say? What can I say? He's definitely a good guy. So um, outside of Power Rangers and what you've already done, is there anything that you really want to like look into doing? Like maybe more mainstream, like bigger uh, uh, studios, streaming services, anything you maybe want to try and go out for? Well, it, it, you know, it's kind of funny. And, and, you know, in L.A., We'd all would love to be in mm -hmm. Marvel and big superhero stuff. It doesn't always work that way. Yeah. Roles come, you read for them, some you get. Like, I'm doing a movie in Atlanta in a couple weeks. It's it's called Stalker, The Stalker Part 2. It's a sequel to the original. And, you know, I'm playing an officer in that that's trying to help solve the crime. Mm. Um, I think I can say that. But So th <laughs> things like that come up all the time. But the action stuff I love. I love being physical. Mm -hmm. I'm a physical guy. Um, so the Resident Evil, the Power Rangers, those are always fun things to do. But... You know, this one here, I'm a cop trying to solve a crime. Voice acting, though, is that's one of your feathers in your hat. Is there going to be more voice acting for you down the road? Not much. No, not much. Again, opportunities come up, you take them. Mm -hmm. But it's not something I actively pursue. I like being in front of the camera. I, there's something to me fun about the, the physical movements. When you're doing voice, you're just in a, you're, you're literally locked in like this little closet. And you've got the guys behind the thing. You know, you've seen it, I'm yeah. sure. So yeah. it's you're in there. You're like, it's it's cool. You know, obviously you're you're trying what, to make a living. What if it was also like a voice acting with like motion cap? Would you for be, sure? For sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Best of both worlds. That's the best of both worlds. Yeah. yeah. I, I know they put the, all the little dots on you when you do the motion yeah. capture stuff. That yeah. that has to be a killer. It's it's cool. I mean, it's 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 very interesting to see the character come to life. Um, and it's it's interesting to see how long that process takes, you know. Um, so anyway, it's it's uh, it's a lot of fun. But when there's motion capture involved with the voice, that's totally fine. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. So hopefully more cons in the future and stuff like that. Get to meet more people. Once again, we're 96 Studios. This is Jason Font, and uh, you know, great guy, Red Ranger. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. Appreciate it, sir. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you.